So we established a district SEL PBIS committee. And um, what the district leadership team for academics and the district leadership team for SEL, what they have are every school has one to two members on the district team. The district team models what should be happening in the school teams. And then the school teams report back as to what they're doing to impact what needs to happen at the district level. We talk about um, climate within the schools. We utilize the Castle Toolkit, and our schools um, did the self-survey, a self-analysis. So speaking back with regard to the adult competencies, they did a self-analysis of that. And Villa Park had been quite um, instrumental in leading uh, surveys amongst the staff and parent community. They had been doing their own surveys before the Five Essentials came about. So they had had some data that we looked at previous and had conversations wrapped around that data. What we discovered was that there wasn't a universal curricular program identifying SEL work. Now another thing on our plate, but we're going to show you some connections as to how that works and so it's, they're not done in silos. And then all of those have to be systems. How did all of these things become systems, if you will? And so these are our systems that are in place now. The district leadership team works with the school leadership team. Again, they model what should happen at the schools. And the schools check themselves against what's happening at the district level. The district team meets once a month for four hours. The school teams meet twice a month. And they meet about an hour and a half um, after school. District SEL PBIS team and school SEL PBIS teams. Where are they in each of the processes? How are they um, looking at their data? And also, um, I'd like to support what Mike had just shared with you. There's been a significant drop in all of the disciplinary issues in all of our buildings across the district. A, part, a strong part of that is our coaching model. We have coaches in every building. We have two to three coaches in every building that are typical and traditional called instructional coaches. But we also include our psychologists and our social workers as that coaching team.